previously on Persona 5 Strikers. Oh god, no, one of these puzzles. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm having Pokemon Gold and Silver PTSD. No, not you, you! The targeting system in this game is ticking me off. Oh, that's what it wanted me to do, I get it. Thank you, Brain, you did well. I don't, I, like, my brain sometimes works against me and sometimes it just gives me solutions. Literally, the entire time my brain's like, push it there. I'm like, why would you want it there? He's like, just fucking put it over there. I'm the brain, you're the stupid human. I'm like, alright brain, I'll do it. It's like, and then my brain's like, no, not that one, you idiot. I'm like, no, it's not me. It's the fucking controls. And the brain's like, yeah, yeah, that's what everyone says. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, brain. I hate my brain sometimes. My brain is just fucked. Okay, I just realized, if we effed up something, and there is in fact a secret ramen event that we did not see, I might as well just save the game a few times, so we can always hop back here if there is a ramen event. So if someone knows about the ramen event, just let me know, and we can just load this save. I'll make a few. Check your request so I can see. The request is actually done. They're actually all done. Mothman. Are you double checking the request? We know how your game is played. Are you double checking the request? Are you double checking the request? Are you double checking the request? See? Are you double checking the request? Are you double checking the request? You know, I'm gonna be that bitch and re-accept the quests, so if we end up killing the enemies anyway, we get the free quests. You know why? Because fuck it, that's why. We did this shit, we're gonna redo it like this. We're gonna do it the smart way. Here's what I found. You're doing this one? You're doing this one? You're accepting this request? Jack Frost weakness? Time yes. to get to work. You're already working on it. You're accepting this request? Weakness? Yes. Okay. You're accepting this request? Defeat Satana by striking weaknesses. Yes. Okay. You're accepting this request? Mothman weakness. Okay. Yes. You're doing this one? Municipality weaknesses? Time yes. Time to get to work. You're accepting this request? Weaknesses. Yes. Okay. Look, you're doing this one? Nah, forget about the clover. I don't care. We don't need it. We'll be fine. We're now doing extra quests. Okay, let's start the mission. If we do them, we do them. If we don't, we don't. Who cares? Bonus XP and free money. All right, let's jump in. Welcome to Copyright Strike Heaven. How's my party doing? I think the party's pretty good. Oh boy, here we go with the puzzle again. Ooh, I want that chest. Hey, what do you think that is? on target. Spot me, damn it. What are you doing? What are we going to do? Oh no, I'm surrounded. Mothman, Principality, Jack Frost, High Pixie, Satanta. Let's go. You're mine. Got it. Point those weaknesses. Strong as always. Persona. Grab it, Sam. Oh, I just got Switch out. Okay. There we go. We just did a quest. Oh no, I'm being spotted. Be careful, okay? Don't get frazzled. You can do this. 
What are you, Wixu Principality? Alright, you Wixu Principality. Another quest done. So broken. Anything? Oh no, I've been spotted. That is horrible. Yes, we are. Horrible, isn't it, Haru? Oh, no. Oh, we finished that one as well. playing a little bit safer because we're running out of SP. Oh god, fucking damn it. Okay, what did I do, Brain? Come on, Brain. Give me the thing. Come on, give me the thing, Brain. Give me the thing. Okay, Brain says do this one. Okay? Do the thing. No. I've taken too much damage. Oh, it doesn't go further? Okay, then do it this way. Push it again. Come on. Yeah. Come on, brain. Good brain. Come on. What the fuck is going on here? Come on. Uh oh. What? How'd that happen? Brain? We had a deal. Why 
are we doing the circle jerk? It's just stupid. You could have just done the other one. No, not you. No, not you. The you, yes. Rain, I sometimes hate you. Stubborn, slobby piece of shit. Why must you always do everything the hard way? Slub way my ass. You're just a stubborn bastard. You don't want to admit you made a mistake, do you? You stubborn piece of shit. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Yeah. Infiltration successful. Oh no, this is a trap. Hmm. 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 Wait, healing item, heal effect? Oh my god, that's that's gonna be ridiculous. Um Increase damage for but no. Increase MA for all party members against. Affects match. I kind of feel this is going to be really good. Let's use it. Yep, this makes sense. And it almost feels like Nightmare Before Christmas sort of thing. I don't know if you guys realize. Oh god, I can't actually save, so if I die, I lose all that shit that I just did. I'm not sensing any shadows. We're safe here. Please do! Yeah, let's go. Be careful. I should have probably done that when we were <laughs> saving, but anyway, let's not fuck it up. No pressure. Oh no, what will I do? I need nuclear shit. Persona! Come on! Mothman! Principality! Jack Frost! High Pixie! Satanta! You're mine! Oh, nice Joker! You did its weakness! Give it up! Hey, yeah. Strike! Mission complete. Wait, that was a mission? These little he hoes. Yours. I haven't seen Nightmare Before Christmas either. I just know the song because it's written by Marilyn Manson. This is Halloween. Wow. This is Halloween. It's beautiful. The correct response is, but not as beautiful as you. Yes. Such a magnificent design. But not as magnificent as you. Distracted by architecture. There are enemies here. Get the guns! Get ready! It's on here! Wait. I'll give it my own! Get the grenade launcher, Tsuka! Motherfucker! Hey, look! That's a wig to chandelier. See what I thought? Well, that was a thing. All clear. Nothing to worry about here. Good luck. Okay. If Ryuji doesn't have 
double cannons by the end of this game, I'll be severely disappointed. I mean, he's riding a goddamn pirate ship. Why doesn't he have double cannons? Wow, there's so much, there's so much light in this room. Give me one sec. Let me close the thing so you might actually be able to see me. God, I miss Super Kamiguru. He was the best. Wait, there's a thing go to the outer wall? The fuck? Huh? That looks suspicious. Oh no, it's a trap. It's a trap! Shadows! Wipe them out! We can see you just too white. I'm apparently super straight and super white. I'm practically Hitler at this point. Wait, there's a chandelier. Atlas out there be written off frozen. It's funny how much Japanese companies love to rip off other companies, yet they claim YouTubers. Dragon Ball Z a bridge movie marathon when? I haven't actually seen them. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. If we climb out through there, we may be able to ascend the outer wall. Ooh. Oh, a treasure chest! Lucky us! No shadows at the moment. Let's keep going. Wait, does it mean that there's something locked, which is why we need to go through the outer wall? <laughs> right, we got it! it! Must be locked or something. Oh, right. Yudo should be up ahead, but there's a problem. The door is frozen. <laughs> Name drop. All right, Skull, you're up. Heck no! I don't want my hands getting stuck. Who said anything about hands? Headbutt it! It's not like we have fire persona users, but what would I know? Vulpix! Loot use flamethrower! Yep, Anne is definitely a Vulpix. Technically, she's more of a Nine Tails given those it's whips. Cold. Ugh, the wind is strong too. Careful Ooh. not to fall, everyone. Wait, what the hell is this? Wow. Am I playing Diablo? Of course. Of course we are. <clears throat> oh, it's you again. Oh no, what will I do? Uh, shouldn't you be threatening us by now? I don't think they're here to mess around. Be ready for a challenge. So, kill the healer first, like in all 2v2 arenas? Let's go. 
No, your enemy? Ooh, nice. Persona, take Alright, she wouldn't be weak to blessed attacks. Oh my god. We need some heals, woman! Blitzed it. Okay, where are we up to now? Alright, this guy. Why was the party focusing on this idiot? You focus the healer first. Start resist slots. Well, that was fun. Everyone, look! Oh, it's the desires! Oh, right, that's what we're here for. That means the throne room's just ahead. Oh no. Let's not waste any time. By closing the windows, I have created an even bigger echo. Shit. 
says this is where the monarch of Sapporo resides. Is this all carved ice? It must be really cold. Like her heart. A frozen cape that denies all entry. Does this represent her distrust for all others? Yes. Yes, it does. You are? You don't look so good. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. I should be. Then let us proceed as usual. Skull, it's up to you. <laughs> I know why you're volunteering me. Here goes nothing. I feel bad for him. You did this! It's all your fault! How could you be so ignorant? Did you not think a snow sculpture could collapse? Cold it. I... I apologize on behalf of our staff. The little girl. Here it comes. A collapsing snow sculpture. This is where she... It must have been so heavy. It must have been so painful. Get me back, Kaho. Get me back, my daughter. My precious little girl. The accident resulted from my own personal oversight. Truly, I'm so sorry. Is the mayor the one apologizing? Shh, there's still more. <sighs> well, I didn't think the statue had fall on anybody. But isn't this the mayor's responsibility in the end? <laughs> I fucking love that. You built the statue, but it's not my fault. It must be her fault, right? It's like... Excuse me? Well, uh, besides, who can blame me? Well, we don't get paid nearly enough. Nothing wrong with taking a little kickback here and there? Voices must be the root of Mariko Hiyota's trauma. That would fuck up anybody. So, that snow sculpture incident. Didn't we first <laughs> hear about it at the park? Chills, man, chills. That is fucked up. We did, but I had no idea. Could Mari-san have really been involved? I mean, she didn't build it. She probably authorized it being built. But still, dude, the guy cutting corners, like, dude, 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 a little girl died, dude, and you're like, oh, it can't be my fault. It's like, dude, are you kidding me? Dude. It's possible. Is that the source of her trauma? Taking the blame for that incident? Don't forget the guy's voice. Sounded like he was trying to pass the blame on someone. At any rate, this is vital information. Let's go back to reality and confirm the truth. Well, that explains why she's so against people taking breaks, taking bribes, and leaving a mess. Dude. 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 That's fucked. Dude. A little girl died. Dug up some articles about the snow sculpture incident. Let me fill you guys in. There's a limousine in the background. Two years ago, a large snow sculpture collapsed during the December Snow Festival sponsored by Sapporo Central City. Kaho Nanase-chan, a nine-year-old girl, was caught in the collapse and died. Despite Mayor Hyodo's apology, the accident was ruled as an unforeseeable disaster. Therefore, she wasn't held liable. Oh. So that's what the flowers in the park were for. Meanwhile, the guy that built it negligently. I wonder if the voice accusing Mari-san was the poor girl's mother. Probably. So this is Mari-san's trauma. That park where the snow festival was held is probably where the accident happened. 
Let's head over. Where those flowers were? Most likely. Let's go see if there's an entrance. Nine years old, yeah. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. If someone's like 70 or 80 and they pass away from old age or something like that, I, I don't bat an eye because they've had a whole life. Whereas a kid, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Fuck. You get what I mean, right? You get what I mean? I'm not being an asshole to old people, but like, old people have at least had the life. The little kid doesn't. One sec, let me open up a few things because too much echo now. I am too fucking white. You know what? With what I've seen in the streams, Persona 5 really does make the villains better than ones in Persona 5. Strikers makes them more human. Yeah. Well, at least she's not motivated by something like greed, like most politicians. Let's gather intel at the hideout first and head over. There should be a warden guarding the place, if the last few is any indication. Don't skimp on the prep work, come on. I love how I'm getting shit from the cats. Welcome! It's a pocket, New York. It's a pocket. Thank you very much. Come back soon. It's, it's, it's really sad. I wonder what her cage is. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Welcome! Is that all? Thanks for coming again! It, it's tragic when young kids die. It's just, it's just... It's one of those things where the negligence of one person destroys it for everyone. Got it all. And the person that was choice. actually Thank responsible you. doesn't you. even accept you. any of the responsibility. Yet everyone else is bearing the burden as a result of their incompetence. So the person at fault denies responsibility, the rest of society suffers as a result. It is literally... Yeah, it's the whole Jake Paul thing. Everyone suffers on the internet because one idiot did something that, and he doesn't even take responsibility. It, it, it's fucked. Society as a whole is fucked. The way the mechanisms of society works is so flawed. Perpetrators get away with it. It's society and the victims that suffer, not the person that did it. How can I help at all? Want yours to be done? Want yours at all? Want yours to be done? Here you go at all? Here you go. You done? Here you go at all? Here you go. Come again. Yeah, we gotta hand in those quests as well. We have so many items. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm complaining. Well, the fact of the matter is, he has a platform because he's making money for the platform and he's going and he's actually making more money than normal YouTubers because he's considered a priority partner. So the guy that single-handedly crashed advertisement on YouTube is actually making money on YouTube because the CEO is protecting him. It's fucked up. And you can't tell me it's about rules. It's not. There's a set of rules that applies for everyone and then there's people that don't have to abide to any rules and they mm. create rules to protect these people. Yeah. Society as a whole is fucked. How can I help you? From top well, to bottom. You you and funnily yourself. enough, the have CEO you of YouTube only got her job yeah. because she's the sister of the wife of the guy that yeah. runs Google. That's literally their relationship. The guy that made Google got married the woman he got married to's sister is the CEO of YouTube. So she's just got the job through sheer nepotism. Which is why YouTube is actually losing money. She doesn't even know how to run the company. <laughs> Welcome to society. The person making decisions isn't even qualified to make the decisions. She just does it on a whim. And her job is secure because she's, she's sisters to the person that owns the company. Like, fuck off. 
And they ask us why society is fucked. Hey, okay, that's stupid. That's what you're getting. Come, come again. What's my favorite city? I don't know. I honestly don't know. All of them are kind of the same to me, to be honest. The real world cities are cool, but the in-game cities is just running from store to store, Thank to you. be honest. Yeah, the cashier girl is so dumb with her job. She's just there for the paycheck. Okay. Nepotism. At its finest or worst? Well done. Well, that's the result of nepotism. Incompetence. You get things without any effort or qualification. Just because your parents know someone or you know someone. That's the result. Like, just look at what happened to Rome. Rome fell apart because of nepotism. Now look at Western society. It's crumbling because of the same thing. Let's get to work. Man, like, it, it, people say connections should only get you so far. Except connections get you everywhere. Your individual skill matters so little when compared to who you know. It's so fucked. It is beyond fucked. What are you looking for today? There's a sale happening. Master Chen, how many would you like? You will put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You will put it to good use, okay? You want to put it to good use, okay? You want thanks for your patronage. Welcome how many to would society. You, like? you want thank you very much. You want thanks for your patronage. How many would you like? You want thank you very much. How many I love that I can get ingredients. Thank you very much. And some of these ingredients I can't actually buy in this city. You want thank you very much. How many would you like? You want some of the other cities too. You want to good use, okay? You want to good use. How many would you like? You want thank you very much. How many would you like? You want thank you very much. How many would you like? You want to good use, okay? You want thank you very much. How many would you like? You want thank you very much. How many would you like? You want thank you very much. Oh, inevitably, Western society is going to suffer. Perhaps next one point should go to making healing items better. So all these 20 are better. I haven't actually had to you use any of them use, yet. Okay. What are you selling? Are you sure? Okay. So far so good. What about requests? This is a request. You're already working on this one. Good job! You're already working on this. Mission accomplished. You're already working on this. Mission accomplished. Are you double checking the record? Good job! See, I did it. You're already working on this one. Is it more for Sapporo? You're accepting this request? Time to get to work. You're doing this one? Time to get to work. You know You're what's fucked? We'll request? probably end up okay. doing this again. You're doing this one? Time Just because we're still in the jail. I didn't even realize. I'll just add this. Society, man. It's it's why it's so messed up. And it's and it's horrible. It, it is absolutely horrible. I've got nothing wrong against people whose parents are successful carrying on their work if they also do it properly. That's completely fine. Like, if you've got, say, a father that's a mechanic or a builder or, you know, a doctor or something like that, and the kids decide to follow in the footsteps of their parents and they study and they work and they get experience, by all fucking means, the door should be open to them to get a job in building or run a company in building or become successful doctors or surgeons or whatever, like by all means. But if people with no qualifications are being put in positions of power and decision making and running other people and running businesses when they have no experience and no qualification to do so, that's wrong. I'm not saying that nepotism in general should not be a thing. I'm just saying nepotism on its own without individual merit shouldn't be a thing. Individual merit should always be part of the equation. Like, would you want a surgeon performing surgery on you that has no idea what the fuck they're doing? Because that's basically what's happening to some of these companies. The person responsible for the key decisions in the companies has no fucking idea what they're doing. They're just there because their sister's married to the guy who owns the company. Literally. And they're literally tanking the company. But it's okay because it's a write-off. They're family, right? What the fuck? Hmm. That that's literally what's happening. That's society. Let's see. 
That is fucking society. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I've cooked everything that we have, but Jesus Christ. That's how fucked up it is. That, that is, that is. Wow. Okay, prepare and head to the hideout. I'm... I don't know how, like, that probably explains why the planet is being fucked up. Because we as a species are destroying everything. Go to destination. This is where the accident happened, isn't it? Oof. Chills down my spine, and it's so appropriate that they don't play any music. Oh, God fucking damn it. I hate this. I hate this. This is... This is... If we put in the keyword here, we should be able to access the trauma cell. Oh, God. There may be enemies ahead. Are you sure you guys are ready? Fuck them. Let's just kill them all. Let's do it. That's right. I want to see what happened to Mari-san with my own two eyes. Poor thing. The keyword is Snow City. Oh boy, here we go. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Let's see what actually happened. What is this? Uh, snow? It looks like this is the snow festival. How big was this thing? Check out those two suits over there. Oh god, it's gonna be the Yakuza, isn't it? God fucking damn it. I didn't know you were accepting rebates. <laughs> I see a career man in the making. Oh, fuck me. Sir, would you please be discreet about this? I can do that, but in return, you need to do me a favor. I want her to take full responsibility for the incident. That way, she'll resign. Wait, you knew this was gonna happen? That is just not, 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 not. At that point, nah. And you still took the bribe, nah. At that, nah. There is no weaseling your fucking way out of that one. I don't give a fuck. There is no weaseling your way out of that. Fuck off. Okay, so how much of a bribe did you accept to kill a little girl? I'm fucking curious. How much is the life of a child worth to you? What was it? A thousand? Ten thousand? A hundred? How much? I'm, I'm curious. What, what, what's the figure? I want to see what the asking price was for this shit. Once that happens, I'll be the new mayor in town. And you'll be my well-paid associate. How about we just fucking get a knife and stab him in the kidneys? How about that? Fuck this shit. You will cooperate, won't you? This is beyond sickening. And you know what? This is not even uncommon when it comes to politics. Yes. Yes, of course. What did you just say? Hmm? <gasps> the mayor! Oh, it seems I've been found out. Uh, it's not what it looks like, mayor. This is really... Mayor? Does he mean Mayor Hyoto? Then... Mari-san saw this happen? I had no idea you were behind this. That anyone was behind this! Huh. You really don't get it, do you? Well, this festival is held by the city. Maybe it comes out of the taxpayer's pocket. I figured, why not lower costs and hire cheaper construction? You're not paid to think. There's a reason why you're not paid to make these decisions. Because you just looked at the cost. 
not the safety implications and what they would mean, you fucking nut skull. See, this is why nepotism doesn't work. But what's wrong with getting compensated for it? The rest of our staff makes these deals all the time. So, what's the harm in one little mishap? That sculpture collapse was just bad luck. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm calling the police. Well, go ahead and do it. But I'm bringing you down with me. What? I'm gonna testify that I did it under your orders. Then you'll be ruined. Well, after all, you're the one in charge here. See, I even have the papers you signed. Right here. Such an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to say, but you're finished, Mayor. You're a councilman, aren't you? Don't you want to do the right thing? As far as I'm concerned, that's whatever's right for me. This guy's practically Bill Clinton at this point. Well, are you finally ready to listen? Fuck it. Fuck it, strap him to a chair and go to town. Fuck it, torture him for the next six months, I don't care. Fuck him. Fuck him. He's not even human. I don't give a fuck. Geneva Convention doesn't apply to parasites. Answer me, Mayor. Be ready. Of course he has shields. He doesn't attack, he just cowers. How can you blame a peon like me? We don't get paid enough for this! And I'm, uh, I'm really sad that you can't actually see the chat on the video, but the chat is literally going off with different ways to torture the guy. We have car battery, ripping off of testicles, crowbar to the knees, Car battery, battery acid. Very creative. This world revolves around money. Money talks, bullshit walks, mayor. I mean, you just said it yourself, you're a peon. Bastard! Threatened the mayor? Is that it? I had no idea Marisan went through something like this. Something so awful. I feel so, so bad for Mariko. No one should be blackmailed for this bullshit. Not only is this taking an innocent life, it's innocent life of a fucking child. Find a way to cut out his still beating heart and show it to him. You do know that the ancient Aztecs used to have what was called a death whistle? You basically blow into it and it sounds like someone screaming and they used to play that while they were prepping the sacrifice to rip open their heart and they still take it out while it's beating to show the victim. Why not give him an Aztec death or something? Think later, act now. We've got a real fight in our hands here. No, we don't. He's a fucking coward. He doesn't fight, he just cowers. Wow, of course he's weak. You're mine! Let's go! Mom, the mayor down with me! He's up! Persona, I'm driving them! Can anybody stop him? Wait, I'll take it! He's punching away! Now we're in trouble! Let's turn down on! Damn it, I wasn't able to charge it long enough. Actually, good point. Watch out, everyone! I'll give it my own! That's the power! I'll give it my own! Don't dizzy! I'm no thief! That's the power! Oh, well, that's it! Beautiful combo, Panther! How was that? I understand! I'll give it my own! That's the power! I think we're gonna get a showtime by the end. Give it my own! Everyone's I give it my own! 
Whoops. You gotta love this. No, not that one. Getting a lot of buttons. Okay. Oh. Would you care to join us? Yeah, he's gotta get finished off really quickly. Get we have a few show times lined up. I think Panther almost has that show time too. Oh yeah, the show times are filling up really quickly. No, I want to done yet. Axe it is. Ooh, while holding triangle, special attacks gradually become faster and you become harder to flinch. I'm trying it out. No, wait, 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 no, no. No, no. He's dead. True. Best punishment ever. Getting thrown in jail for murdering a child. People in prison will mess that guy up. Look up um, on the internet Sophie's Revenge, I think it's called. There was a pedophile that effectively raped a little girl and he got sent to prison for him. When the prisoners found out, well, the guards in prison basically read out to the other prisoners what he did and they unlocked the jail cells at night and they left. And all the prisoners in the jail basically took turns raping the guy. And they stabbed him around 30 or 40 times. 
So not only did they rape the shit out of him, they also stabbed him like 30, 40 times. They had to do... They had to like, stitch together his asshole. This is why I really despise people who get bribed with money. All it is is just some paper and metal that won't let you get ha happiness. And he did it knowing someone could get hurt and killed. And it's worse since he was a fucking child. I think it's fitting he's weak to both curse and bless because it means he's neither heaven or hell and don't child murder. Evil smile. I think it's for wide areas better. all of them. We can get into the throne room now. I am beyond disgusted. Like, and thank you, Hexen. Two months. What bear do you have now? Oh wait, you've been, you've been tier two for nine months. My bad. Sorry, Hexen. Sorry. Nine months. Crazy shit. Do yourself a favor, Hexen. I know tier two is good with all the emojis, but even if you go down to tier one, go to Patreon so you get some reactions. Trust me, it's a lot better for you. Even if you're just tier one on Twitch and you have Patreon as well, just so you get some anime reactions. But that's just my two cents. I appreciate the support. Thank you. And just make sure you get the best. Oh, you're in both? Well, double thank you then. I just want to make sure you're getting the best, you know, deal for yourself. But thank you, I appreciate it. And you're usually here for the anime. <laughs> you're just here for all of the things. I love it. Ah, oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm just fucking disgusted by that. Yeah, that changes everything. It's not an accident. That, that is not an accident. That's not even negligence. That's reckless endangerment. Wow. Now that's a fair punishment for someone like that. Anyone that messes up a child's life, the person who hurts a child deserves nothing thrown at them. Well, the point is, even amongst you know people that don't obey the law and do unsavory things. There's an unwritten code about women and children. As well as animals, to be honest. Because it takes a particularly weak and despicable human being to harm someone defenseless and innocent. See, if a criminal gets into an argument with another criminal and they beat the shit out of each other, I'm kind of like, well, you know, it's your thing. Handle it like men, right? But when a weasel, a fucking weasel, does something for financial gain that results in the death of a child and then he's like oh well it's not my fault I don't get paid enough to give a shit <laughs> nah 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 like that nah that doesn't fly it's a kid I, a kid's not responsible until a kid's grown up society should as a collective look after children right even if the kid's not mine if I see a kid you know, close, close to the edge of the road, I'm gonna stop the kid from jumping onto the road. It's not my kid, but as a collective, we should be looking after the kids. When we're driving, we should be, you know, keeping an eye out for people in general, but, you know, especially kids and animals and things like that. It's not, oh, it's not my fault. It has nothing to do with fucking fault. It has to do with the fact that you don't care about a human. You were a kid once, by the way. You were dumb, stupid, and didn't know any better either. So don't give me that bullshit. It, it infuriates me. We don't need people like that in society. They contribute not because he's not doing his job in the council to help the people in the community for which he's employed to help. He's there for the paycheck and to, you know, become a career politician to get paid more and more. These are the type of people that become senators, that do inside trading and deny relief and, you know, help to people so they can get a paycheck. They're the type of people that accept bribes from uh, military companies and then, you know, make the country throw bombs on children because the company that's making the missiles wants them to do it because the taxpayer's gonna buy the rockets, you know? 
These are the type of scum that become these politicians. They become these career corrupt politicians that inevitably become president, become senators and things like that. They contribute absolutely no value to society. They're only there to serve themselves. We don't need these people. As a collective, the society would benefit without them because whatever they do is for their own benefit and they don't care what it costs everyone else. They don't care what it costs the community. They don't care what it costs, you know, in terms of human life. They don't care what it costs in anything. And I'm reading all the comments and completely agree. They contribute less than nothing as well as child murders. They contribute nothing. They contribute negative. Effectively, yeah. They, they are effectively a plague on society as a whole. And it's not that they're uneducated or they're not aware that what they're doing is causing a negative impact. They are aware. They just don't care. That's the, that's the issue. If someone does something accidentally and they have no idea that they did something wrong, I'm not gonna go grab a fucking pitchfork and go to town. But if a person is knowingly sacrificing human lives and you know destroying things for people and destroying people for a few bucks, fuck, I wouldn't give a shit if someone runs them over with a car. Meanwhile, they become lawmakers in society and they make laws to protect themselves. When the laws of your country are protecting corrupt politicians, you know there's something fucked up. You know what's fucked? There are some pedos that think what they're doing is right. They are especially screwed up. Well, yeah. They're doing what's right for them, like these politicians. All right, let's continue. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely disgusted. Let's continue. That's all of them. We can get into the throne room. Who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. See, the mayor is just another victim. She's just another victim in all this because she didn't intentionally authorize this to happen. Someone was probably put the document in front of her or put the recommendation in front of her. And what the fuck does she know about construction companies, right? Someone could just say, oh, this is a good con a reputable construction company that could do the job. The fuck do I know about construction companies, right? Are they reputable? Yes. Do you recommend them? Yes. Okay. Well, it's your job to make the recommendation. I sign it over. But it's about who controls the public narrative. It's not even about the truth anymore. It's about who controls the voices, which just so happens to now be social media and television. So the truth actually gets hidden. Like the fact that Prince Andrew is a pedophile that went to the Lolita Island with Epstein. Let's not talk about that royal family scandal. Let's talk about, um, um, let's look for a new thing. Um, oh, there's racists in the royal family. No fucking shit there's racists in the fucking royal family. They're part of the British fucking monarchy that's been colonizing the world and bringing slaves from Africa to England. Who do you think started that shit? Wow, they're racist? You don't say. You mean all that inbreeding to maintain the purity of the bloodline was potentially racist? But let's not talk about the pedophilia within the royal family. By all means, let's not touch on that. Or the fact that fucking Oprah runs orphanages in Africa which siphon kids to those islands and that she was a close friend of Epstein. But let's not talk about that either. You know, who controls the narrative? Do a little bit of research and it fucking becomes scary as to what's going on. Just do a bit of research. You don't even have to start there. Fucking start anywhere. Just start doing your own research. Stop reading what's presented on social media and television and start doing a little bit of research and you'll be absolutely shocked as to the amount of verifiable information that is out there. It's just not on the front page. 
because certain people don't want it to be. For good reason, too. But yeah. Maybe that's why certain people are pushed on Twitch and YouTube to distract the masses from what's really going on. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Makes you wonder why all those uh, channels abusing little children are allowed to stay on YouTube. Almost as if it's all part of the plan. Anyways, who were those guys? They were arguing with the mayor just now. You don't even need to, it's all fucking there. It's just more convenient not to think about it. It's more convenient to think that, oh, it's just bullshit, as opposed to the, the fact that the current US president might be a pedophile, or that his son is a pedophile that's been diddling his niece. Or that the US was selling military technology and uranium to communist China, which can now use it to, I don't know, engage with wars with the US. Or that the US sold 20 to 30 percent of its uranium supply to Russia a couple of years ago. The very uranium that Russia uses now to make those big nukes, which are being condemned by the US. I don't know, what the fuck would I know about politics, right? I just live on this planet. Just do some fucking research. You'd be amazed at, the, at what the fuck's going on. Do a little bit- Hey, here's a little bit of homework for you. Do a little bit of research on how all the US presidents are related. I'll give you a little hint. All of them are related in some way except one. And the one that wasn't related got a bullet through the head. And if you really want to jump down the rabbit hole, start looking up how the Vatican started helping Nazi war criminals out of Germany. <laughs> Just look up rat lines. Anyways, tinfoil hats aside. One was a city employee. The other must have been a councilman. Someone higher up on the ladder. Yeah. A cityman and a councilman, and neither of them were human. Anyway, it seems this employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Which one? There were two presidents who got a bullet in the head. Uh, the one that didn't wear a top hat. It seems that the employee accepted an illegal donation from the contractor who ended up building the sculpture. Payment for lending them the job. In other words, bribery. We don't know if the sculpture collapsed due to a structural issue or a general lack of care. The result is still the same. Either way, the councilman was in the know. Not only that, he tried using a fatal accident to take Mayor Hyodo's position. I seriously hate that especially when all that shit is supposed to be common knowledge while other people are being extremely defensive and said that none of it is possible and it's all fiction. Just do a little bit of research. Uh, you probably won't believe me if I tell you all the shit. Just start doing some of your own research and it'll all start making sense. And then you'll be really shocked as to how deep the rabbit hole goes. And how far too. And then you'll start questioning a lot of things. Like... Yeah, you know what, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Just, just do your own research, just some homework, have some fun with that. Something along those lines. Uh, unforgivable. Everything makes sense now. Kyoto overheard this conversation by chance and found out the truth about the accident. Not only was it someone from the city, but even her own staff had blackmailed her. It's messed up! These greedy assholes only wanted money and power! Now I have a better understanding of what Hyoto must be thinking. When she found out those around her were immoral, she became determined to purge the corruption above all else. Can you really blame her though? It resulted in the death of a child. Of course she'd become obsessed with trying to prevent it from happening again. The problem was, this corruption was just the symptom of an even bigger problem within society. That 
That's why she's overworking her staff and trying to push her ethics bill through. And on top of it, she's trying to manipulate the people into re-electing her. Mari-san. Well, no matter what the reason, the birdcage is finally open. I mean, see, now comes that moral dilemma. The ethics bill would technically be of benefit to society, but the people electing her are coerced to elect her. And even though the ethics bill would be in their benefit, they're technically not willfully supporting it. It is, is it then wrong to put the bill in? And it also makes you wonder, a corrupt society wouldn't want an ethics bill. Wow, that's a head trip. Let's head back to the hideout and discuss the specifics of the calling card. People say everything that sounds like a conspiracy is fiction because it's easier than doing your own research. People have increasingly short attention so spans. what do we do for the calling card? I don't know. Bullet? Maybe we shouldn't go overboard with it. I don't really see her as a bad person. Yeah, the real bad guy here is the one who took the bribe. No, the guy who offered the bribe in the first place is the true villain. So should we go after him? Was it not the shoddy contractors who built the sculpture? And they deserve the most punishment. <sighs> a lot of punishment times. You guys sound pretty heated. Who's to say one man's more evil than the next? How long were you there for, Gramps? So you were here all along. You guys have the worst, like, awareness in the world. Plus, everyone from outside can hear you. Like, what the fuck? I don't know why people are asking me how long am I going in this stream. I've never played the game before. I can't tell you. I haven't played the game before. I don't know what happens next. <laughs> you weren't invited. Whoa, why the hostility? Because you're old. Oh, I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. You guys forgot about me, didn't you? I'll be honest. I did. I actually did. I forgot you existed. It's been a week and I forgot you existed. And I'm sorry for that. You just didn't leave much of an impression. But this is an opportunity for you to grow as a character and as a person. Now do something crazy and memorable. Why would you not get in contact with me? Uh, because I typically don't contact strangers that are older than me. Because I'm not an adult yet. And you're an adult. Well, uh, now that you mention it... Wait, is Anne technically 18, or is it just Makoto and Haru who are 18? I'm trying to figure out, what is the age dynamic here? I know Futaba's the young one, but like, what's going on here? Gramps, you completely slipped our minds. <laughs> Alright then, maybe I'll forget to keep you from getting arrested. Aw, oh, come on, don't be like that. Okay, we're sorry. Uh... Forget it. So what's our situation? Now I get the picture. So that's how Mariko Hyoto became a monarch. Can we just get the cat to explain this so we can't be, you know, held liable in case it's recording? Uh, that would explain your debate as to who was the worst of them all. Makoto and Haru are 18, the others are 17 except for Futaba who's 16. Alright, so that's not a huge age, you know, gap. It's like everyone's within... Well, quite literally two, three years of each other. What's your take on it, Gramps? My take is you kids are naive. Oof! Oof! I mean, it's true, but oof! I had to screenshot that. What do you mean? It's clear that Mariko Hyoto was cornered by a pair of rotten scumbags. Tragic. I agree. Mm hmm? But what is she doing in response? Isn't it just as wrong to change people's hearts and manipulate them? Uh, 
and here comes the moral dilemma. That may be true, but... Furthermore, that accident was her responsibility, being that she's the top of command. Regardless of who did what, a real leader takes the fall. I mean, yes, but had she taken the fall, it would have only made it more likely that it would happen again. Isn't it more so that a true leader takes responsibility rather than the fall? Because taking the fall and walking out is the easy part. Making sure it doesn't happen again is the hard part, which is what she tried to do, albeit in a very extreme way. In a way, she is a leader. She's just flawed in the way she's doing it. At least that's what I think. But even so... It may be a bitter pill to swallow, especially for a group of justice-loving kids operating outside the law. Uh, says the guy blackmailing a bunch of justice-loving kids. You're not really setting a good example, are you, Gramps? But the real world isn't so cut and dry. I mean, we can cut them and leave them out to dry, if that's what you want. I don't mind. Do you have a hook or something? We need a frame that can hold up about 100 kilos, too. And the longer you keep up this hero charade, the harder it'll bite you in the ass down the line. Ah, Zinkichi. When was your spirit broken, young one? When did you finally figure out that the police force wasn't all that you thought it would be? Not everyone joins the police force because they want to beat up minorities. Some people actually join the police force because they believe in justice, and somewhere down the line they realize that justice doesn't exist, and the police force is just there to keep the citizens in line, while the politicians line their pockets and, you know, do the work of their masters. When did you come to that realization, Zinkichi? When was your spirit broken? Or am I hitting too close to home here? Zenkichi? What's going on? Zenkichi, that's terrible! Take it back! Is that what you really think? We're aware. Calm thy tits, Futaba. Is that what you really think? <sighs> yeah, hesitating there for a minute. Mm. 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 Kuma stop psychoanalyzing the broken man. Hey! It's my job! Well, sort of. I mean, I do kind of psychoanalyze everybody and people get pissed off, but you get my point. Uh, sorry. Might have overstepped my boundaries. No, I can understand your line of reasoning. Wow, Makoto's showing some real maturity here. She's not judging him for his opinion, she's understanding his line of reasoning, even though she disagrees with it. Makoto, stop being 35 years old, woman! You're 18, for Christ's sake! You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil, but that won't stop us from fighting. Damn, Makoto's so mature for her age. Jesus Christ. I'm starting to question whether or not she's more mature than Sire. Because Sire fell into that loophole of believing that you can only do justice by breaking rules. If we give up now, then the people who are counting on us won't have any hope left. And somewhere out there, Nagito has a heart on. We help people in a way no one else can. That's why the Phantom Thieves exist. I understand you all take this very seriously. Then tell me, either way the cards fall, you're not letting Hyoto get away with what she's doing, are you? Mm. See, if you take her out of the picture, you still haven't gotten rid of the actual problem. Hyoto's a symptom of a problem. She's not the problem. If the problem wasn't there, this wouldn't be happening right now. You need to solve the problem, not the symptom. You don't just mask a symptom. That's what fucking pharmacists do. That's why it's a multi-billion dollar industry. They just sell you medicine that gets rid of the symptoms without solving the problem. Because it's more profitable to keep treating people over a lifetime instead of curing them. Which is why there'll never be a real cure for cancer. But what would I know? Correct. We're going to stop her. Haru. What Mari-san is doing is forcing her warped intentions onto other people. And we can't let that happen 
no matter what the reason. So what are you gonna do about the guys that killed the little girl? Are you gonna do anything about them? Right. We're the Phantom Thieves, and we fight for what we believe in. Because you know the time frame when it happened, and you know the two positions of the people. One of them was the person that helped suggest for the building contract, so you can narrow down who it is. Yet you're doing nothing about it. And knowing the Japanese justice system, you could just arrest him on the allegations alone and get a conviction. Yet you're going after Hyodo. So... What's up, Doc? Yes, we're gonna stop Hyodo. But we'll do it in a way that's true to us. We'll wake her up to the truth. Let's take back all the desires. Well said. I have no objections. It's decided then. Thank you. So how will we send the calling card? Um. Email? Maybe we could send it over with some curry to the mayor's office? Why curry? What are we, a catering service? <sighs> if anything, it should be ramen. Might be better to avoid closed spaces, actually. After all, she'll probably be outside prepping for the election most of the time. There's no point sending a calling card if the target doesn't see it. I wonder if we can send it somewhere on her campaign route. Why don't you pay one of those planes that writes messages in the air? Puma, that's flippin' dog. Just looking at my dad who is still struggling with cancer. It's sad. My father died of cancer. My grandmother, who I never met, died of cancer. And I personally know a few cancer survivors. The fucked part which they don't tell you is that a lot of things in everyday society are aggravating cancer cells. For example, caffeine aggravates cancer. Red meat aggravates cancer. Certain ingredients that we use in everyday cooking things aggravate cancer. And then there's certain foods that actually help the body, it's not get rid of cancer, but it's reduce um, the ability of cancer to grow. Because cancer is basically an abnormal growth. It's basically like a defective thing that starts growing in a way that it shouldn't. Because the body itself replicates. Like these skin cells within 30 days will be brand new. The body keeps rebuilding itself. What ends up happening is there's a glitch in the code somewhere and it starts growing something abnormal that just goes out of whack. And so there's basically foods that aggravate the likelihood of this happening and there's foods that actually fight against this and prevent cancers from growing. The thing is, they don't want to fix this because it's a multi-trillion dollar industry to treat cancer as opposed to properly curing it. And they do it with other things too, like blood pressure, diabetes, you know, all nine yards. And a lot of the time they don't actually make medicines for the sole purpose of, I don't know, treating it in the best way possible. They make the medicine which is most profitable, by which I mean using the cheapest ingredients and marking up the price as, human, as much as humanly possible. There was even a pharmaceutical company in the US a couple of years ago that purchased the patent for the drug which was used to, I don't think it was treat, but it was used to sort of control AIDS, right? So if you have HIV AIDS, you basically take these pills in order to either slow its growth or stop it from spreading. Anyway, this piece of shit ended up buying it, the patent from a pharmaceutical company and he increased the price by a thousand percent. I shit you not, the tablet used to be three dollars. He increased it to a thousand something per tablet. Effectively making it impossible for people that needed to drug to buy the drug. And as a result, they die because they can't afford the drug. Because we all know how fucked up you know, medical insurance and shit is in the US because it's run for profit. A little bit like the education system that's run for profit, which, you know, is able to take out private loans and give it to students that don't know shit. And even if they file for bankruptcy, the loan stays. You know, you can thank Bill Clinton for that under the advisement of Hillary Clinton because she sold out your country to China as well as everyone else. But that's another story altogether. It's basically fucked. They're there to make money off you, not to help you. I've known a few people that have actually managed to treat... Uh, they ended up having cancer. And they treated it by quite literally 
uh, going all natural. They stopped coffee, they stopped meat, they were basically only eating natural fruit, vegetables, nuts, things like that. Um, that dramatically stopped the growth of the cancer. And then over a period of time by doing that, de-stressing, unplugging from everything, it actually started receding the growth of the cancer to the point that they were able to surgically remove it and it was gone. The problem with things like chemo, and I'm not saying don't do chemo, is that it weakens the body. It's literally firing radiation into the body which weakens the body's entire immune system. It doesn't just kill the cancer, it literally kills everything that it's fired at. It, it destroys it. The problem with that is it weakens you to the point that, yay, you might have just beaten the cancer, but the average cold could probably kill you because your immune system's dead. Or a flu can kill you. Or virtually anything can kill you. It's one of these situations. So, because they make so much money from all that chemo and all those drugs and all those hospital visits and consultations, they don't actually put funding into researching how to prevent and actually cure cancer. They say they do, but they just siphon the money somewhere else. That's the tragedy of society. Between all that and be a vegan, I'm still eating all that. Everyone knows how fucking annoying vegans are. I'm pretty close to being a vegetarian vegan because I almost never eat meat from some time. Thanks to all the kinds of vegetables and fruits, fine. But don't go around introducing yourself as vegan. No one likes that. Vegans are fine. I just have a few vegan friends. But if you're forcing me to also be a vegan, fuck off. Well, I had this situation where I was um, at a tournament with a couple of my senpai. And I didn't realize that they were vegetarian and vegan. Like, I didn't know. I was basically there on a trip with them. And I was like, oh, hey, look, you know, we were in another city when we were looking to get dinner or something. And we ended up going to a pub. And um, I was like, ooh, what do you guys think looks good? I think, like, it was like a chicken schnitzel parma or something looks good on the menu. And I ended up ordering it. And um, they were like, well, one of them was like, oh, no, I don't eat meat. And I'm like... Oh shit, I just ordered it. Do you mind if someone like eats meat? And she's like, oh no, it's completely cool. So they're vegan, but they don't kind of push it on people. You know what I mean? Like I know the benefits of not eating meat because the saturated fat actually makes it difficult for your body to move oxygen. Which is why, believe it or not, if you eat vegetarian food before doing competitions or anything physical, you will actually have more stamina and more strength and more energy and good old-fashioned gladiators in the Roman times didn't actually eat meat. They, they ate beans and curd. So they had a heavily, heavy protein-rich diet that wasn't comprised of meat because meat actually slows you down. Now, unfortunately, you've got a carnivore such as myself that grew up in a household where virtually everything is meat. Like, if you could afford meat, you're fucking golden. Right? Especially in a place like Yugoslavia. So, especially when there were periods of you know time on the farm and you had cattle and you had beef and you had lamb and you had chicken and stuff, you would eat it because you never know when the times are going to go bad. Even now, like, meat is a staple in my diet. I eat chicken all the time because it's a lean white meat, right? It's got protein, it's lean and all that sort of stuff. But red meat is very bad for you when it comes to cancer. But then again, there's also the coffee that I drink, right? Um, I was heavily addicted to caffeine and I'm trying to sort of tone it down. This is my second coffee, so this is probably my fourth shot of coffee and it's 12.30 p.m. I, like about a year ago when I was working in corporate, when I started working in corporate, I would literally have six shots of coffee before the workday would even start just to wake me up. I was up like 12, 18, maybe 20 shots of coffee a day. And then, you know, when I was live streaming or doing LPs, I was popping energy drinks and pre-workout. What do you think that was doing to whatever cancer I might have in my body? Probably aggravating the shit out of it, which is why I made the con conscious decision to actually tone it down a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna completely stop myself from drinking coffee, and I'm not ever gonna completely stop myself from eating meat. I'm making that conscious decision that, yeah, I'll try to keep it within moderation, and if something happens, I'm gonna cross that bridge when I get there. But if I found out, say, for example, tomorrow, 
I had cancer or something, you bet your ass I would go cold turkey on all meat, all caffeine, all stimulants, all cancer aggravators, go on full, you know, natural fruits, vegetables, nuts, and try whatever I fucking can to starve the cancer from spreading. But luckily, I don't have cancer yet. So, if I go out and someone says, hey, let's go eat barbecue, I'm not gonna say no, I'm gonna say fuck yeah, right? Because my theory about life is yes, you wanna prolong life, you wanna live long, you wanna live healthy, that's fine. But if I can't enjoy the little things, what's the point of living? I get it, I, I've got mates that are going for six packs and they wanna be shredded as fuck and I respect the dedication and you know power to them. But when I go to another country, I'm not gonna be eating the vegetarian option in the menu in the restaurant because I'm scared of losing my six pack. Fuck that shit. If I go to a foreign country, I'm eating all of the things. That's just how I roll. So look, that's my own choice. I've had family members die of cancer, I have relatives die of cancer. Just be informed and make your own decision. That's how it works. Same thing when it comes to alcohol. Same thing when it comes to driving, you know, a motorcycle or doing extreme sports. Make a conscious decision. If you're an adult, do your research, think about it, make a decision. Just don't cry to mommy and daddy if you fall over, right? Like, you're an adult. Make your own decisions and live with them. That's, that's what life is about. Take some fucking ownership of your life. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just telling you to make your own decisions. All right, let's continue because I'm probably pissing people off and I'm sounding like an old man. Even though I'm in my fucking 20s. I'm sounding like Makoto right now. <laughs> so Kuma, boss today, that's the plan. I'm still going to eat pizza with some meat on it, but only occasionally. If that's what you choose to do, go for it. Power to you. Like somewhere she's bound to pass by. Kuma, you're sounding twice your age, like Makoto. Shut up. I'm not that old. I'm in my fucking 20s, you bastards. I'm fucking 20s. Then how about where the Suzushino posters are? I'm sure she'll have a speech over there. I'm 21, no excuse. <laughs> Good thinking, Haru. Yeah, and if we time it with her speech, it'll be perfect. The question is, who's going to place it there? The cat. <laughs> uh, no, not again. Seriously? No, I fucking love that. They all just turned to him. That was beautiful. It was like, who's gonna do it? Love it. You sounded like a boomer, Kuma. My god. Thanks in advance, Gramps. Just out of curiosity, how old are people here? Just like type the number real quick. Don't even think about it. Just type the number. I want to gauge the ages of the people here. I'm not sounding like a creepy person or anything like that. I'm just genuinely curious. We have 40 people watching. I want to see how old people are. And I'll read out the numbers for the people uh, that are watching the LP because the chat's off. <laughs> you put the charity stream on 160p? That's cool. That's cool. Wow, no one wants to share their age? Everyone's shy? Oh, okay. Okay, the numbers have started flooding in. We have a 21, we have a 22, we have 24, 25, 15. Wow, I better watch my language. Shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> crap. <laughs> crap. I'm corrupting the youth. Uh, we have 18, we have 30. Ah, we have a senpai. 17, 20, 19, 18. Okay, we've got a spread. We've got a spread. We've got a spread here. We've got a bit of a bell curve going. I better start watching my language. I'm corrupting some of the youth. Ah, 30. Okay, okay. Wow, I'm actually interesting to people? Jesus. You're already corrupt? <laughs> That's probably why you're here. Jesus. So Kuma goes from 15 to 30 then. Yeah, the Kuma's from 15 to 30. That's a pretty good age group. We've got a few different generations in here. That's cool. Thanks in advance, Gramps. Now hold on just a minute. 
Didn't I already pull this stunt for you in Sendai? <laughs> Consider it a favor, then. Wow. Yeah, for being such a meanie earlier. I don't pay attention to what my age is, but I think I have 23 years. I think at a certain point, you just stop counting. I think it happened to me like one or two years ago. People were asking me, how old are you? And I actually had to count. I was like, wait, am I this much or this much? I just stopped counting. Shouldn't you own up to it? There's no need to worry. We'll make the calling card for you. We'll be counting on you, Gramps. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Might as well say yes. Help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. <sighs> you little weasels. <laughs> All right, fine, fine. I'll post the damn calling card. Oh my god. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> Haru's just like sticking in that knife. How'd I let them twist my arm like this? Why'd you get in the RV? It's your own fault, goddammit. Uh, whatever. If we're really doing this, it'll be early in the morning. Don't be late. Hey. Kyoto's speech is tomorrow morning. That's when we'll make her aware of the calling card. We only have one shot of this. Let's make sure we're prepared before we send Zekichi out. Is it night now? Because if it's night, I want to go check out the night hotspots. Yes! We haven't checked out the night spots. Let's check out the night spots real quick. There's a few places only open at night. Come on, four leaf clover. Come on, clover. Come on, clover. Hmm. Damn it. Hmm. Let's check out this place. Looks good to me. I bet it'd be real nice hanging out at a place like this on a cool summer night. Oh god damn it, I thought we were actually gonna hang out, Morgana. I thought you were cool. Okay, I gotta ask, we don't have anyone here on the edge of ten. Welcome! If Please we do, they are beyond saving after the things I've said. But to be fair, I saw some shit before the age of 10, so... Cloud Memorial. Even I can understand what happened here was a tragedy. It'd be concerning if we did. I mean, I've seen some shit before I was 10, but that's just me. Take your order with. Thank you. you can thank uh, President Clinton for that. Can I help you find something? <gasps> Part of fate. Is that what you want? Wow. Oh, so that's why they made it at night, because it's for the boss fight. What's this? Oh, wait. That's a maid and a hostess. What are they doing together? I don't think that's allowed by TOS. Yeah, but it doesn't stop certain streamers from telling them to grab their parents' credit card and make donations. I mean, that's predatory in nature. Can I help you find something? I think technically it's easier to find porn on Twitch than it is on Pornhub, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Like, have you actually seen the front page of Twitch? That is not safe for work. Welcome. Thank you. It is definitely not safe for work. No, 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 no. And I love how they say, but it's not against terms of service. Really. Not against terms of service. What's up, dude? Thanks! Can you pass the place? Did it not have a sign or something? Oh wow, dining hall. There's a casual bar with a full menu. It's probably not a great date spot. Where do you want to where do you keep getting all this stuff, Sophia? Hmm? What did I pass? This one? Yakitori restaurant. Ah, welcome. Is that all you need? Come again. Look at the map. Oh wait, it did have the map. Sorry, I didn't realize. I skipped that one. I think this place will be open. Sure, I think Twitch has gotten really bad over the past few years. Well, they're letting it happen because they're pushing a political agenda against no. a head of like policy. Because they want to make it like, well, we don't want to enforce the rules on everyone because we want to push a certain demographic of creators, which is perfectly fine. But what you've basically done is excuse rule breaking, which is bad. 
That's why it's getting out of hand. You're not enforcing your own rules. And when people see other people not being punished for it, they do it as well. And then people just keep pushing the boundaries further and further and further. Which is why you literally have people doing yoga with no underwear on, humping pillows. I'm sorry, but back when I was in high school, you had to go on a fucking titty streaming website to see that shit. Not fucking Twitch and YouTube. What the fuck, dude? I would not want my kids watching YouTube and Twitch, honestly. I'm sounding like a boomer, but with the amount of predatory content, I'd be afraid for them to look up Disney characters on YouTube. Jesus Christ. Please, take your time. Thanks for and that's fucked up. Also, I feel bad for Zinkichi as currently there's a, the story has just been manipulated by the thieves and honestly, he's just a nice guy that shouldn't have to go through that every time he meets with them. I mean, he did blackmail them. Again. Come again. You should have your kids watch your stream. Oh god, no. They'll know way too much about me. Hmm? You don't want that. You want you want your kids to respect you. And I don't think my kids would respect me if they watch my streams. Any slub will have some kind of childhood PTSD. I mean, war does that. Come on in! Please come again! Is that it? That's kind of disappointing for nighttime spots. Miss old YouTube? Yeah. Back when YouTube used to be about you and not just a tube or a hub. Let's get to work. I mean, Twitch has effectively become a titty streaming website selling the girlfriend experience. There I said. Now then. Anyways. I fucking said it. And you know I'm right about this. Wait, this is really chill music. Remember the Twitch streamer that spread herself and only got a three day ban? Why doesn't it surprise me? Hey, imagine what would happen if I accidentally took my shirt off. Imagine we ended a stream, I thought the cameras were off, and I went to change my shirt because I want to go to the gym. I'd get banned for indecent exposure taking off my shirt, right? Meanwhile, a girl can go, whoops, nothing. But me, a guy, accidentally take off my shirt, accidentally, mind you, accidentally, instant ban. A girl purposely goes, whoops, or, you know, puts a water bottle on for donations. What the fuck, guys? Like, seriously, what the fuck? I miss when YouTube actually had all the anime on and wasn't just random clips. Ah, yes, I was there for that. That's where I actually started watching anime, believe it or not. Because it was all on YouTube. Kuma, little girl be like, my dad is so, so streamer. I get more views on my spree runs of DMCA. Kuma's little girl be like, my dad is a so, so streamer. I get more views on my speed run. Man, I'd be, if I had a girl, I'd be scared if she's on the internet because I've seen how many predators there are online it is it is quite scary that's kind of why i don't want a daughter i mean a son's so much easier to deal with right you just got to make sure he doesn't become a simp whereas with your daughter you've literally got predators out there hunting and i say hunting because it's accurate young girls it is fucked up dude fuck me all right, this is a chill song. Let's have a little break. We've been on for almost two hours. We'll send out the calling card and we'll do the boss. Quick little break, guys. Enjoy the music. It's very chill. Sophia probably has seen some shit on the internet already. She's seen the internet. She's seen, you know, uh, two yucky soba, one chopstick already, right? She's already seen the Pain Olympics. She's already seen become as dots. She's seen that shit. How she's maintained her sanity, I don't know. 
I don't know. All right, quick little break, guys. We'll be right back. You guys just chill to this music. It's so good. It's so good. Hey, we're back. I really don't like how political on the recent news problems currently happening. This music is good for having time to relax. It's just too many problems arising from the world. I try not to make these streams negative uh, because there is much... I mean... <clears throat> Alright, let me start again. I try to not make these streams so negative because they are a means of escape from daily bullshittery. Even for me. I work Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, I do all that stuff. I deal with everyday struggles just like everyone else. And for me, these streams are an opportunity to unwind, unplug and enjoy. But sometimes in games like Persona, you encounter these very real situations and it wouldn't do justice for the situation nor the story to ignore it. So we sometimes go a little bit deep. But in between these very real moments, we chill, we make jokes, we make memes, we laugh, we cry, you know, we poke fun at everything and we have a good time. But sometimes the story gets really real. And when it gets really real, we get serious because I don't really want to make light of something like that. I don't feel it's appropriate to joke about it. But all of the other stuff? Fuck yeah. Let's joke about it. But the real stuff, let's, let's show it the respect it deserves because, you know, I know, you know, in the game, the little girl that died isn't a real girl, but for all we know, it could be based on a tragedy that actually happened. Because everything is based on something. So, you know, let's not make fun of it. I made the decision to pop an energy drink because I'm an adult and Hachan's teaching a class, or not a class, but like a private tutorial. And so, um, I can't make noise by cooking a coffee, so I decided to pop an energy drink. You know, gotta work together. Alright, let's see if there's anything we can buy, and let's send that calling card and do all of the things. Alright, it's on hold, so all the good shit's gone. Alright, send the calling card. Wait, what about the request? Have we done them? Are you double checking the request? Is it done? Do you want to cancel the request? You're already working on this one. Sapporo Jail. Didn't we do this? You're already working on this one. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, fine. Same calling Yeah! Card. Ready in time. Haru, I can take it we can leave this card's contents to you? Yes. Yes. I want to show Mari's son how I feel personally. You ought to rest. I'll get to writing. Tomorrow's the big day. Let's give it our all, guys. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Honestly, <laughs> late in the night. Good evening, Kuma. Oh god, it's a booty call. Booty, 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 booty. Oh my god, I miss booty calls. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm being a little kid, but... <laughs> I miss the booty calls. You know, being a uni kid, and uh, when you're still learning the ropes of texting and dating and all playing the field and you don't really get it and you're like why is she texting me and it's like brah 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 good evening kuma i'm sorry for the short notice but could we meet up i'd like to talk to you screen shut if you have time it would make me quite happy i'll be waiting in front of the fountain What? I'm human too. I'm human too. I'm human too. I'm human too. You got your PlayStation 5? Good shit! What are you gonna play first? Huh? What are you gonna play first? Oh my god, and she's wearing her little... Is that called a fedora? What is that hat even called? I have no idea. Please don't become that big lady from Resident Evil 8. Kuma was a little boy before as well. I was a little boy, yes. I was previously a little boy. It's a sun hat? Is that what it's called? A sun hat? Okay. I'm sorry to call you out so late. Oh, she's having a crisis. Yeah, this must not be easy. 
Wait, you're human? Shh. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind, and my memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. Mm, so that was the emotional trigger. Haru-chan. How could I forget someone I loved so much? Because she stopped calling you that, and that was the emotional trigger. Happens to the best of us. Came out of nowhere, huh? I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. Are you saying that you buried your emotions to deal with the trauma of losing your father? All the times we spent together, and the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away, and I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. Well, when you wear a mask for so long, you forget what's underneath. That must have been hard. Thanks for understanding. To be honest, I feel like I was running from the past again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. And of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. That's a very... Yeah? When you wear a mask so long you forget what's underneath. Looks at Joko. <laughs> so true. I wouldn't, I would, I definitely wouldn't say don't be too hard on yourself. Because, yeah, you don't, nah. I would say that she's strong. I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. It almost feels like there's a little bit of a mother complex thing going with Mari-san. Because she never mentions her mother, only her father. And it's almost like it's she's like a stand-in mother sort of thing. A mother figure of sorts, if that makes sense. And so this strikes extra close to home because she wasn't able to help her father and now she's almost been given another chance and she doesn't want to fuck up. So it's added extra pressure to the situation. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Better rest up first. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Mariko was the closest thing Haru had to a mother. Assuming if Haru's mother passed away before Haru could develop memories. Hmm. 
Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. And it was at this moment Kuma realized that he would never make it as a chick because he hates shopping. I would never make it as a chick. I'd have like two outfits and that's it. I'd basically be like a DMC character. Or an anime character for that matter. When you really think about it. It's late. I should rest up for tomorrow. Nani? Hey. Hmm? Why is Haru so upset over Mariko Hyodo? I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. <laughs> I feel you there. <laughs> Joker admitting that he's a sociopath. Really? I guess even real people have trouble empathizing from time to time. <laughs> like a simple concept to you but to me it makes my mind go <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's describing things with sounds but I am humanity's companion I am here to learn and grow why are they giving me so little bond experience god damn it give me more than that oh my god it's finally past 8 11 Jesus that was like the longest day ever good day everyone are we ready to make Sapporo a paradise's purest snow? Imagine how much time went into that hair in the morning. Jesus, I would never make it as a woman. I would fail horribly as a woman. The hair, the clothes, the makeup, fuck that shit. And remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hyodo! What is that? A calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? Mariko Hyodo, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. Wait, have we actually seen her shadow yet? I don't think we have. This is... Oh, shit. You see, and they say they're going to steal my desires? She fired! She looks like that girl from that Disney thing. You know that girl with the tentacles? You know the one I'm talking about? The one under the sea. That steals Ariel's legs. Look how thick she is. Ursula, that's the one. That's who she reminds me of. Look how thick she is. She's extra thick. She's McThick. Lie. Those desires are mine and mine alone. Is this how she sees herself? I'm so confused. Why is her appearance as a shadow so significantly different from her outside appearance? Ariel's tale? You get what I mean. I, I, I watched the story when I didn't understand English, so I only understood what I was seeing. As long as I'm the monarch. I won't let anyone stop me! Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out! So did they make her fat just so they could make the eating joke? Is she eating the desires? Because that would explain... Why are you just standing there? Take these wretched things Wait for us, Mari-san. It'll all be over soon. Let the operation begin.
Oh my god, this is the song that does copyright. Alright guys, I'm not gonna say anything so I can actually edit it out, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not saying anything. Hopefully I can sub the song with something. Let's go! We need to change Mari-san's heart! You can climb up those chains. Wait, if we're doing the boss, shouldn't we increase our showtime? That would be the smart thing to do. Let's stay focused and show our attacks. Looks like the enemy's panicking. I think these ones are too high level. Whoops. Whoops. No, I gotta. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Hey, watch your health. You're gonna rock down there. Rock yet, Suka. Alright. You took out most of them. Don't let up, guys. For Christ's sake. Another job? What? We're in a good spot. I'll give it my own. Thank you, Tower. I'll give it my own. Thank you, Tower. I'm sensing less enemies. I'll give it my own. I need a couple of ambushes to get my HP up. I'm not saying anything because I don't want to chat too much and because I want to edit out this part. Wow, nice one. Keep it up. Hmm. I'm not seeing any shadows nearby. FYI guys, I have about two hours left. I'm here over the weekend, so it's not like I don't want to not push some stream time. Plus, Hachon wants to edit at 3 o'clock, it's now 1 o'clock.
All right, we're almost max SP. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I get the feeling that you guys really want me to see something. Which, of course, I'm cool with. There's a shadow lurking around. The enemy hasn't noticed that you're too Now's our chance. See why I love that passive thing? Very well. I get free SP. still coming. Enjoy it, bitch! She moved. Slut. We got a lot of masks. Yay! We did it! Let's keep chugging along. You're out, no shadow. Okay. At least not right up ahead. I'm just getting up the little counter thing. You can strike the enemy from here. Sorry, but this is broken. I was just broken. Broken Haru, you'll take 69. You're a bad man. You are a bad man. You're so much. Alright, we won! Yeah. Okay, on to the next. What do you think? Can we pull it off? Our chance. She changes her. She has two. Shoot him up. That was a quick one. Here's Excuse me. Excuse me, Anne. Did you just say you have two guns? Shadow sighted. What should we do? Come here. Within range. Oh no, it's the same ammo count. You've got the I'd like at least a little more she has a hip and a side shoot. A true slug. Fall to my place. Yes. Okay. Shoot him up. 
Zucker! Well, that just happened. We heed that nice hole. Work, ladies and gents. Okay, let's keep going. Treasure chest detected. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, treasure hunter. Okay, we're almost ready for the boss. I think I see something over there. Yeah. I'm picking up a shadow in your body. This is our chance. Wipe them out. This is a piece of cake. Was that it? Huh, that was fast. Good stuff, guys. Keep it coming. Not at all. Get our fire boost. That's gonna come in handy. Okay, we are practically almost on three. We are almost good. I just want to have them for the boss. Getting in one of those scary readings. Let's not engage it. Like we almost have enough. That was over before it started. I should have taken a nap. Let's keep up the pace, shall we? What's up? Okay. We're recovering That's SP slowly with every on. win. gonna be full after this one. Alright, she's got her show time.
How about next week we can enter the new jail and we take the time to kill the dire shadow? Um, if we have the level for it. I think we probably do. Look, a shadow! What do we do? Hmm. We have the bond, let's see. Hmm. What's this? Magic. Oh wow, 25. HP and SP. Yeah, I'm gonna want the next level of this. If we act fast, we need the amber. Sounds good? Are we lucky or what? Alright, let's just do one more to get the remaining health back. You guys Alright, on to the net. You're never gonna get a perfect, but you can get it close enough. And this is like close enough to perfect. I should write something. We do have healing items, but we also have a passive heal. Plus, there's an enemy we can ambush. Should we take a look? Such a Show Let's your get yourself. Taking them by surprise. Strike. Yours. Okay. More shadows. Here they come. Shoot them up. Boom! Close enough. Okay, let's move. There aren't any shadows nearby. I'll just add this. It's alright, it's alright. She's on... Twenty to all. See, I'm gonna end up using this, so it's okay. Twenty to all. Five to one. Five to one. I'll, I'll save it for the twenty to all. Oh, I might just get rid of the small ones. This way. 
Thank you. This one from this one. There we go. She's good enough. It's on here. Sure. Uh, I already said I have about an hour and a half left. So, around the same. Ooh, I got a pimp cane. Let's do it. Oh, she's gluttony. Well, that explains it. Sorry about the wait. We're here to kick ass and... What? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. Wow, you can't tell me she doesn't look a little bit like Ursula. Who, who the hell is she? Well, at least she's eating, you know, I see tomatoes, I see zucchini. I mean, there's some vegetables on that table. No, 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 no. The girl in front of you clearly ate Mari-san. What on earth happened to her? Well, <laughs> even the dress is falling off. Jesus Christ. Ursula somehow had a kid with Elsa. <laughs> it feels like they really tried to force the gluttony angle here. Because I don't think she fits the gluttony sin, to be honest. Well, they had a sin they needed to fill up or something. There's seven bosses, isn't there? I'm guessing this is Hyoto's distorted form. <laughs> they really wanted the seven deadly sins, didn't they? They really wanted it. What do you people want? You are best. Best not get in my way. What is it with the giant utensils? Like, what is the point? Isn't she Japanese? Shouldn't she have chopsticks and pre-cut meats? Or, like, wh what's the go with that? Or is it gonna be too cold? But she's the ice queen. I don't get it. Oh, oh, I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re-election! Okay, Hillary. Sure you will. Sure you will. Just a few more votes need to be delivered, right? This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless! Yeah, all those dead people can't vote every four years. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Yeah, Hillary. Ah, you shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! <laughs> those people killed themselves! I don't understand that logic. You get rid of corruption by working people to death. I, I don't get it. That's like... I can't even come up with an analogy for this. I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And there's the Hillary we all know and love. And I will consume every last vote in the city. Whether these people agree with me or not. Yep, she's Hillary Clinton, alright. She's got the hair and everything. With bulletproof windows and troll safe doors? This isn't the way to do it. Are you happy living a lie? Listen to him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? Please share the clip. Speaking of which, where are they? And did she eat them? Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back. 
<laughs> she did the pose. She did the pose. Honestly. Mm. They're all in my way. Is she gonna stop eating during this fight or what? This is the last straw! Ah. 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 You've made me so very Still have time and the main course! Oh god. Devil May Cry 4, anybody? Oh yeah, this is very Devil May Cry 4. Does she also disappear? What you're doing is wrong, so we'll be taking those desires back. Ew, she really is Ursula. I was gonna say Hillary, but okay. Shut your prissy little mouth! What would you know? I will consume all who oppose me, no matter who they are! Oh yeah, this is the... I mean, look where we're fighting. A cathedral square ground with a blob with tentacles and a giant tongue. I mean... You can't not see it. And if she disappears... Oh, she's weak. I don't want to blow it too early, but I know we're gonna have... I don't want to blow it too early, but I also know it's gonna regen by the end of this fight. Because it's gonna be a long fight. Oh yeah, this fight's gonna last a while. Would you care to join us? Get ready! Phase two. Ooh, get out of the way. Phase 2.5. NPC, what the fuck? Drop the chandelier on her. Make her spit. Open from the impact. We'll get over here. I'll give it my all. Come here. Oh, fuck my. Oh, fuck off. NPC piece of shit. Do I even have a res here? Oh my god, I don't. I need to get Joker out here. Come here! Fucking hell, Joker. Stop getting eaten by creepy old women. Can you do a res? Why don't you have a res? Oh fuck me! Jack Frost! Hi Pixie! Satanta! Succulus! Leland! Arsene! 
Coming expensive. Come on, what the hell is the goddamn res? Is it at the bottom? Is it here? Ah, uh, fifty percent full HP. I mean, I don't need fifty percent, but whatever. This one. Oh, I'm so grateful. Switch out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Let me help. Thanks for the help. Well, there goes that. Aru, please don't fucking die. I'll give it my all. Get back. Dodge, 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 dodge! Is the game lagging? Jesus. Oh no, they're slow. Dodge, damn it! Is the mechanic, god damn it! Don't die, you sluts! Good. Phase three? There's a heater? Okay, gotcha. Oh, I can't hear her, the music's too loud. And I'm too focused on the gameplay to actually read text. That's the bad part about the PlayStation 5 version. You can't actually hear the audio. Oh, thank Christ. This one? That's this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Joker, you've got a healer. Come on, Mothman, Principality. His power. Thank you. Let's go. Jack Frost, High Pixie, Satanta, Succubus, Leland, Arsene. Persona! Gotta exploit those Let's weaknesses! Go. I know I can count on you! Take this! Fire! Take this! Fire! I'm gonna take two! Don't forget any follow-up attack! Persona! Grab it, sir! 
Charge a little more, charge a little more, charge a little more, charge a little more. I'm big bomb, big bomb, big bomb now. Jesus Christ. Is that Kuro Sensei's girlfriend? Okay. Really? Now you're learning the res skill? A new move? Congratulations! That would have been handy five minutes ago, you bastard. Okay. Oh fuck off! You'll be even more powerful Oh fuck off! That's a double fuck you right there. The game's literally I trolling me. Let it end this way. Shut up, Hillary, you lost. Go back to hell. I need to wipe out all of Sapporo's injustice. Please stop. Haven't you done enough? Those sneaky Japanese. They know how to troll. What? You're a kind person, Mari-san. And I know you've tried to shoulder all of this alone. The staff member who took bribes. The councilman who tried to set you up. Is it just me, or does Morgana look like he had a little too many tabs? And he's just spacing out. He seems to be the only one spacing out right now. He is looking at God himself right now. He's not even seeing what's in front of him. He is looking through the universe. He is looking through space and time. He's not only looking at the 4th dimension, he's looking at the 16th dimension. He's looking back to the creation of the universe itself. The moment God himself farted. And it all makes sense. We are just a byproduct of God's massive fart after a burrito. How insignificant we truly are. Anyways, back to the show. Even the girl who died in the accident. <sighs> Each of these things grieved you. And in order to make a city where none of it could reoccur, you took action as you saw fit. Am I right? Can we please zip up her dress before it falls off? I'm, I'm literally scared. As the mayor. I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed! I mean, Morgan does give out LSD. <laughs> Someone clip that and please link it. Because this stream will probably get taken down for copyright. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. It never really is. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never stepped down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Is it just me or she's trying to channel that inner Sylvanas voice? Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. 
<laughs> Fuck, she is Hillary Clinton. Jesus Christ. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. I can totally see the point. I, I totally get it. Except she actually believes all this. It's true. It's true. She's nothing like Hillary because Hillary does it for herself. And I totally get the whole thing of you didn't step down because you wanted to prevent it from happening again. And had you stepped down, you basically would have enabled the people that caused her death to do it more because they would get your position. I totally get that. I don't actually see her as the bad guy in this. I get what she wanted to do. What she wanted was a good thing, but the way she went about it is a bad thing. But that does not technically make her a bad person necessarily, just misguided. As opposed to the other people that are literally bad, bad. They know they're doing bad things and they do it a bad way and they don't care. They're bad. She wanted to do a good thing, but she did it in a very misguided way. That's bad. But then at the same time, I don't even think she's aware that she's actually manipulating people through the metaverse. So all things considered, as far as she knows, people are voting for her out of their own free will. She probably just doesn't have enough time to realize it because she's so caught up in the election campaign and pushing through the ethics bill and getting all these things changed to prevent tragedy from happening again. She's as much a victim in all this as the little girl who died. She doesn't- Mariko doesn't strike me as a bad person at all. There's fucking assholes that were working for her on the other hand. Very bad people. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start. But this time, on your own strength. And I think a lot of people would actually respect a politician that speaks the truth. I understand that speaking the truth is scary because you think people might not believe you. But there are probably people out there that will legitimately believe a person that tells the truth. I don't think people don't want to believe the truth. I think a lot of people just accept the convenient lie so often that it becomes the narrative. I think people would actually respond to an honest politician. And it's a shame that we haven't had one in such a long time. That would be impossible. Hmm? I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. I, I mean... <laughs> you could still tell the truth. Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! <gasps> Are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes, you said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Haruka. What I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda I lost sight of how I originally felt. And why I ran for mayor in the first place. 
To make a city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Haruchan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. <laughs> um, about that. Mari-san. Happy? <laughs> Sophia! This place is collapsing! Let's go! Oh, that took us quite a while. Cage of gluttony. I mean, I guess you can interpret the gluttony of votes and power, but... I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. They were really trying to push that gluttony angle and really channel that Devil May Cry 4. I don't, I don't have any issue with that. It's just kind of like... Eh. You know? Eh. Everyone can tell it was half-baked. She was eating away her guilt, maybe. Maybe. You were fantastic. You did great. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. Yeah, she's just about to have a mental breakdown. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. But did we release all the desires? I guess this wraps up the mission. I literally can't unsee that boss and place as DMC4 now. Thanks, Kuma. How did you not figure it out before? <laughs> like, seriously? We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab something to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. Can we do the secret ramen event now, please, for the love of God? I feel cheated. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. Okay, Napoleon. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Oh my god, you're making me so hungry, you bastards. Why do you do this to me? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. Oh god, I can feel my stomach growling now. Thank you. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. You know, thanks to China no longer buying seafood from Australia, you can buy lobster for $25 each. They used to be like $80 to $90. Now they're $25. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? Because lobster is fucking cold? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? Sorry, did you just say Genghis Khan? Or did you just say Genghis Khan? I'm sorry, Fataba, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Fataba, what? <laughs> did you just say- Wait, I, I gotta hear that again. But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? Am I the only one that heard Genghis Khan? Like Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? I'm sorry, I can't be the only one. But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like Hot Pot? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like Hot Pot? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Might be only you. God damn it. No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. You want to bet, Makoto? Then it really is hotbox. I still think it's a barbecue. What about sukiyaki? True. Though sukiyaki is served hot pot style, 
Its etymology does refer to grilling. I wonder why. Damn, Makoto, you... You hear it perfectly clear? Yeah, little Timmy knows what's up. Though probably because I see it's not being spelled Genghis Khan. No, I didn't say Genghis Khan. I said Genghis Khan, like Jin, J-I-N instead of G-E-I. Instead of Genghis, it's Genghis Khan, if it makes sense. Does it even matter? Give me all of the food. <laughs> hey, was that a smile just now? You have a great smile. I like seeing you happy. Damn it, both of these are simping hard. Relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed, she was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. <laughs> Yusuke, bro code, not in front of the other girls. Huh? Were you watching? Yusuke. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Oh my god, he just friend zoned himself. You cuck. Increase ammo count for all party members based on the guy. Excuse me? Alright, Sophia. Find us the best Genghis Khan in Sephora. Did the gremlin just give me extra ammo? Jesus Christ. I'm about to go all slub on this game. Gun only playthrough. Sophia? Hmm? Uh, sorry. Okay, I've got it. Time to get some more ammo. Did you hear about what the mayor's abusing a staff? Isn't the mayor's approval rating kind of odd? Why was I supporting Kyoto again? Why did my grand dead grandma vote for Hillary? <laughs> How do dead people vote for Hillary? I don't know. How does it happen every four years? Why does no one do anything about it? I don't know. The fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. It just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Kyoto-san's holding a press conference right now. Well, that was quick. In the other game, we usually had to wait like seven days. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. I hope she doesn't get suicided. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing, and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth, all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself, and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> As such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as mayor. 
But can't the citizens technically vote for anyone they want to? So even if she drops out of the um, election, they could all technically still vote for her. Isn't that how George Washington became the first president of the United States? He didn't even want the position, but everyone was like, come on, come on, you know you want to. And he was like, no, come on, no, come on, no, come on. No. And then even when he became president, he actually set in term limits and limits of power. And he called himself president, not because president was a powerful position at the time. Before the president of the United States became a thing, a president was considered a much lower position than a prime minister because it was like, you know, being president of a local bowling club or a local, you know, like anything, you know, it wasn't considered a big title being a president. It was like, okay, well, I'm in charge of our little committee of gentlemen here. I'm not in charge of a whole country. He was very wholesome about the whole thing, and he didn't believe that a single man should wield that much power. He was actually a legitimately good leader that was elected by the people. Not what we have today. Seriously, I think if the Founding Fathers were alive, they would scream for revolution. If they saw what was happening today. It's sickening. They escaped and founded a new country to get away from the very things which are happening now in the country. But what would I know? I'm just a geek that studies history. I guess I'm just a geek, to be honest. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. Look at my little slum gremlin. <laughs> She's representing the squad. I am so proud of my slove gremlin. She's loving like a slove gargoyle. No matter where she goes, she does the slove squat. I love it. I love it. I wonder if she'll be arrested. I mean, she's a politician. Good question. Oh, Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Hmm. But are the other people actually going to be held accountable for what happened? Because politicians very rarely get in trouble. Because they have a lot of judges and other political figures in their pockets, including the police force, the judicial system, judges, all of that sort of thing. Prosecutors. That's why it's so difficult to weed out corruption, because the swamp is very deep. Marisan wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zenkichi is on the line. Nani? Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? This is what Zenkichi meant when he said the Phantom Thieves are naive. So Zenkichi is fully aware of how corruption works within the system. Yet, in his own way, he's trying to stop it. Doesn't that show that he's also, in a way, naive, but he hasn't lost all of his hope? Because if someone has lost all their hope, they wouldn't be trying. They'd give up. They'd do what a lot of people do and just go through the motions. Problem solved. Yep. You all did a bang-up job. Really, can't thank you. Plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone too, so I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur, at least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Wow. Gramps for the win. <gasps> I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho chan? Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. Wait, so she actually has memories of her shadow form? Or is she referring to the conversation that they had in front of um, the thingy when she was 
trying to get her employee to die from work. When I became the mayor, I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kaho-chan would want. So let me say thank you, haru -chan. Thank you for saving this city, for saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family too. Thank you so much, Mari-san. Oh, Haru-chan. I'm happy for you, Haru. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in. I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. Mm hmm Your... I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? Is that the mother? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Uh, no, 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 no. Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over. Become out. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am. Thank you. For sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter I would stand back up and become your mayor again well that didn't take long Marisa. Hmm. <laughs> Sophia thinks we're all bipolar at this point I don't get it I know this is a sad moment everyone is crying but it also feels warm and kind how would you describe this? This is happiness, it's joy. So what, we can't be sociopathic in this one? It's joy. I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo to transform sadness into happiness. Recording valuable data. Sophia has learned I am scared. This AI will destroy the world one day. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. What gave you that idea, Anne? You no, know, it seems like she really understood Hyoto's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. 
she reminded me of what Haru said in jail. <laughs> Out of context? Out of context. <laughs> Well played, Beauty Thief. You're more cute than cool. God damn it. Could you please forget it already? Indeed, <laughs> truly moving. You did get it. Uh, that's... It really was touching. <laughs> My god, the bond points we're getting is a joke at this point. There need to be more. More, damn it, more. We solved the problem in support. The next question is what comes next? It doesn't feel like we'll be making much progress until Zakichi gets back. Should we do some sightseeing while we wait? Though it is kind of late, I guess. At this hour, I would recommend the Ferris wheel over Shuzushino. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. You should invite someone to come along. <gasps> do you only get to invite one person? What the fuck? I'm running on empty, man. Behold, a saucy. Zesty masterpiece ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Here you go, my treat. Yeah. Yes, it's all good. 